All right, hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, today, just kind of a simpler video, just showing some pictures here while I do a voiceover explanation of what's going on here. So today we're talking about uh, why EGR is bad uh, for a diesel engine. Uh, here you can see the intake horn of a Cummins 6.7 liter. It's off of a yard dog, uh, which is like a yard hostler. It's just a tractor used uh, to move trailers around the yard. It doesn't actually go on the road usually. So it has a lot of idle time and uh, very, very little uh, high speed driving. So these are especially affected by EGR because EGR uh, is typically active when you're idling or uh, low speed, low throttle situations. So uh, this, like I said, is off of a yard dog. So this one is very bad. As you can see um, on the inside of the intake horn, it's all carboned up uh, with soot and everything. And usually that's what the inside of your intake plenum and everything, your valves, all that looks like. So as you can see, that's not good for your engine. Not only does it restrict the amount of air volume and the smoothness of the air flow, but uh, you know those chunks could potentially break loose and go through your valves into your engine and cause some issues as well. Now you can see this is the same truck and this is the intake plenum side. So that's the engine right there. And it, it is horrible, don't get me wrong, but it looks a little worse than it actually is because there's a grid heater there that's like a little toaster uh, elements. I'll show a picture here of what I'm talking about. But so the soot from so much idling and low speed driving uh, builds up on these toaster heaters, if you will, for the intake heater, the grid heater, and uh, it just builds up and builds up and builds up and eventually it just completely filled, uh, it plugged up the whole intake. And I can't believe this truck was even running. Uh, there was no, like I couldn't even see a hole for any air to get through. I can't believe it was running. So it was amazing to me. It had zero throttle response and it was smoking extremely bad. Uh, obviously it couldn't get the proper air to fuel uh, ratio. So as you can see, very, very problematic. So there's a lot of, you know, this is kind of why people do grid heater if they can't get rid of their emissions. And this is also why people, you know, although it's illegal, they do their trucks to get rid of these emissions because they just wreak havoc on your engines and uh, cost a lot of money on the owner's side. So I just kind of wanted to show this example. This is personal. I did see this at work uh, a couple of years back. I'm just now making a video out of it. But um, so this, this does happen very commonly. You can just Google like common six, seven intake clogged or in grid heater clogged. But hopefully this was informative to you as to why people this and you know why they get rid of the grid heater why they get rid of egr and all that stuff so um, if you like this video make sure you hit that like button subscribe for more videos like this check me out on all the socials at tony the truck guy thanks for watching have a great day